To access polls, click on polls in sidebar menu. To create a new poll, click new poll. First of all, you will need to name your poll. I will name it test poll. Then you need to choose the language in which the poll is to be displayed. I will leave it at English. And then this thank you message. This thank you message appears after someone has filled in this poll. You can leave it as such or you can edit it uh, like thank you for answering. Come back again. Then this display. In display we have page targeting. This page targeting decides on which pages this poll is shown. For now I will set the home page by clicking here and then simple match and then click and then type in my blog URL. Then click add. If anyone types this URL, this poll will show up. Then I click close. Then this device targeting. With device targeting, you can choose where your poll appears. For example, if you do not want your poll to be shown on desktops, you can just remove it by clicking here. You can see that the poll will be shown only for tablets and phones. For now, I'll be leaving it at all devices. Then this behavior. This behavior decides when the polls are to be shown. For example, if I want to show the poll as soon as the page loads, I will leave it here. If I want to show the poll after a delay of 2 seconds, which means that whenever the site loads, after 2 seconds, I want to show the poll, I will choose this option. If I choose this option, whenever the user exits the page, the poll will be shown. This is very useful to decrease your bounce rate. And finally, we have this when user scrolls halfway down the page option. If you want the poll to be shown when user scrolls halfway down the page, choose this option. For now, I'll leave it at immediately after the page loads. Then you have the status which is active or inactive. If you choose active, the poll will be shown. If you choose inactive, the poll will not be shown. I'll leave it at active. And then here, here we have a preview of what the poll will look like. For mobiles, this is what the poll looks like and for desktops and tablets, this is what the poll looks like. You can choose the position in which the poll will appear. If you choose right, the poll will appear here. And if you choose left, the poll will appear here. Then you can choose the theme of the poll. If you can either choose it as light or choose it as dark or you can even change the background of the poll color. See like this. Then you can show Hotjar branding or not. If you have a business account, you can even hide this Hotjar branding which shows up here. Then you need to enter the questions. This will be a long question. For example, I am ty just typing in a long question. This is what is shown up here, a long question. Then you can type in a yes or no question. You can ask a yes or no question. And then you can also add other questions like this single answer question. Answer 1, answer 2. Then you can also ask check boxes type question. And finally, you can also choose net promoter score, which helps user to rate your site. Now I'll show you what each and every question looks like. This long question, this is how the question looks. I'll type in an answer and I'll click send. The next question, this yes or no type question. This is what the yes or no type questions look like. I'll choose a better color. Okay, here it is. Then I'll just type in answer again. Then this is what a yes or no question looks like. No thanks. Then single answer question. This is what a single answer question looks like. It asks a question then gives you an option to select any one. Then choose at least one. This choose at least one. This is what this question looks like. You can cho choose either both or you can choose just one. Then this is what the radius question looks like here. You can modify this radius. You can modify this very good. You can modify this very bad. This readers, this very good and this very bad. And then finally after choosing the visitor can hit send and he will be shown this confirmation message.
After creating the poll, you will also need to save it by going to the bottom and click create poll. You can edit it by going here and clicking edit. In the next lecture, I will teach you how to create polls and collect data from users. See you in the next lecture.